Fledgling. Hamish Henderson, looking down the camera for Grampian TV, is standing outside the house of traveller singer Jane Turriff. He's giving the viewers some context for the song they are about to hear, the ecstatic rigzorai, as he describes it. Iron fist, supple fingers, he quotes. Janie Turriff brings him in and she's talking nine to the dozen. It's another world from the quiet glen outside. She's been married three times, and plenty of offers too, she laughs. There's knickknacks and ornaments covering every surface. She's dressed in a bright red and tells him how she just loves singing, and singing with the organ. I'm in heaven with this, she says. She plays him the rigzorai. The deep hum of the organ gives this heartbreaking and naive love song a reverence against her high, bird-like voice. Hamish has taken off his hat and is sitting off to her side. I watch the video and see his expression, the effect the song has on him. I feel the effect it has on me, this song of youthful vulnerability and heartbreak coupled with the grave, almost processional accompaniment, and I'm reminded of a poem of Hamish's own, The Flight in the Life and Death. Quo life, the world is mine, the flowers and trees, they're all mine. I am the day and the sunshine, quo life, the world is mine. Quo death, the world is mine, your lugs are deaf, your e are blind. Your fleurs mun dwine in my bitter wind. Co death, the world is mine. Co life, the world is mine. An open grave is a furrow sign. You'll no keep my seed frae far in. Co life, the world is mine. And I'm reminded of a chance meeting, noted down by a school teacher in 1950s Edinburgh when taking a shortcut through St Mary's churchyard spots a group of children by the wall all standing round and looking solemn. On asking what they're up to, they simply reply, It's a bird's funeral. I reached up high to pluck a leaf To make his little wine 